My name is Ella Squirrel and I'm a painter based in Bridport. Since graduating from Falmouth in 2018, I've been back here establishing myself as a professional artist. Growing up in Dorset, I've always felt very connected to nature and to the sea. Um, they are places that help me have clarity and help me reflect. I think Bridport has a very unique creative community, which I find very supportive and encouraging. My main creative discipline is oil painting, but photography and music also play an important part in my creative process. I find working from film photographs very interesting because it provides a gap between when you take the photograph and when you see the photograph developed. This space allows my memory and my imagination to become part of the process of the photo in the painting. For example, in Red Woman, which is part of Return of the Natives, was painted from the memory of a photo on a roll of film that got lost. The decisive moment the image is taken often plants itself firmly in my mind, so it was interesting to only be able to use the memory without the photo itself. With this painting, I wanted to explore the relationship between vulnerability and strength, being able to gain power and accepting the uncertainty. I also work from phone photos. These always seem to capture more intimate moments or quick snapshots. Those that I don't necessarily get with my film camera. I also work from life and paint from sketches and studies, but often I enjoy where the painting itself may take me, sometimes away from my initial intention. My work responds to my own experiences and reflections, or to other people, friends, family, people I'm close to, or people that I don't know at all. I often take uh, aspects of these people, their stance, their disposition, their clothing, and create portraits that are somewhere between depictions of them and fictionalised characters. The two frame paintings in Return of the Natives were painted on a residency in Cornwall in February 2020, where I was exploring painting from memories, sleep and rest, and painting at night time, part of an ongoing exploration and fascination with the night time, dreams, moods and the subconscious. Listen to podcasts, artist interviews, reading art books, swimming, walking, and encounters with other people. And music. Definitely music. I'm motivated to create a painting in order to understand the world around me, to process life and experiences and emotions. I'm motivated to paint in order to communicate with others in a way that perhaps words don't. There's something about looking at a painting that I admire that makes me feel like nothing else does and I think that's the similar feeling that I get when I'm painting. So I suppose it's like chasing that feeling. Um, it's constantly attempting and failing to reach that feeling again. I really admire it when artists are generous with their experiences and their knowledge um, and when you can see sincerity in them and in their work. I also really admire it when artists are trying new things and not just sticking to the same way of doing things and I really try to push myself in that way. I think it was an exhibition by Richard Diebenkorn in 2015 at the Royal Academy. I was living in London at the time, before university, 
trying to figure out if I wanted to keep studying and what I wanted to study. My mum bought me a membership for the Royal Academy where there was a huge retrospective of his work. I loved his use of colour and layers and how each colour was so special because of its relationship to the next. I love how we read colour and paint application, taking it down to the simple formal elements of painting. For example, how often a bright opaque red will stand out in the foreground and a translucent blue will take you right back to the background, but how sometimes these can do the opposite thing. I had just finished my A-levels, where I'd been exploring abstraction, so at the time his abstract work really inspired me, but I was also drawn to his interiors and figures because how the painting explored both abstraction and figuration. His landscapes also spoke to me. I saw my home in them.